Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash is the first Jujutsu Kaisen game ever made on console and many people including myself speculate that this game will release by the end of 2024 or at the latest early 2025. Besides the scans and the tweets that Bandai has been posting about the game, literally nothing reinforces our theory, but with the information we have received so far, we can pretty much predict what characters are going to be included as DLC. Now I know fully well that we don't even know what the base roster of the game is going to be, but it was revealed to us that we'll have at least 15 playable characters and 11 of them has already been revealed by the time this video gets uploaded. Seeing as the Shibuya Incident arc is still ongoing, it's safe to assume that the base game will only include Season 1 characters, and lately we have seen a pattern in anime games only giving us about 15 to 20 characters on release with DLCs in mind. I think I have given this video a long enough intro to give you all a good understanding of what we are going to talk about, but just in case it's still unclear, in this video I am going to predict who we can expect as an upcoming playable DLC character in Jujutsu Kaisen Cursed Clash. Before I tell my picks, let me reinform once again, this is just a prediction video which could also be interpreted as a wish list if Banda is still on the lookout for potential candidates. Even if my picks don't come true, I'd like all of you to tell them who you'd like to play as in Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, so make sure to head down to the comment section and type down your favorite. To start off, in my opinion we'll only get 5 characters at best and you might be asking what do I base my assumption on and why couldn't they add more than that. Bandai recently started implementing some sort of season pass into their newly made games and if they follow this pattern then that means we can expect future seasons beyond the one that involves the first pack of DLC characters and not only that but they could very well add alternative versions to certain characters to which I'll get back in a second. If you remember my long intro, I said that the base roster will only include season 1 characters, so that means no Jujutsu Kaisen 0 and no Jujutsu Kaisen season 2, and there's a simple reason to that. Jujutsu Kaisen 0 was the first time we got introduced to Okotsu and Geto, and multiple characters had an alternative look. Gojo had bandages instead of his normal blindfold, and not only does Maki and Inomaki had a different look, but Okotsu also looks slightly different compared to his season 2 counterpart, therefore they could start with adding Okotsu and Getu from Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. There's also a reason why I made a Toji thumbnail. Not only does the hidden inventory arc introduce his him and makes us wonder if he'll ever be playable, but there are so many characters Get could get as skin as well. Gojo and Geto could literally stay the same character, add them as skins and people gonna be happy. Toji Fushiguro has an additional reason as of why I think he'll be added as a playable character however. He's probably the only character on my list that already has an explanation. If you remember back to my video where I was explaining battle mechanics, it has been revealed to us that every character will have some sort of special bar card, cursed level or cursed energy, whatever. Every character but Maki. She is going to have a physical gauge. Just like Maki, Toji is unable to use cursed techniques. Just think about it. Why would Bandai spend resources on developing a different special bar for only one character? They would do it for two. Now granted, this bar will work literally the same as the one everyone else has, and for all we know, it might just get renamed with a slightly different color, but at the end of the day, they still changed it. The next character that I expect from Bandai to release as a DLC for Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash is Choso. I really don't want to spoil the anime for you guys, currently we have only seen him do like one attack on Gojo, but let's just say that he will have a fight down the line, if you know, you know. And as a fifth level character I once again have to draw from the second season of Jujutsu Kaisen, we are going to have Sukuna himself. I'm not going to spoil anything, fear not anime only viewers, but by the time you're gonna see Sukuna reappear, he's going to be much, much stronger. There's a reason why he looks so menacing in the opening of the Shiba Incident arc. I could have mentioned duplicate characters, but besides Sukuna, none of the season 1 characters will have a drastic changes, like sure, Yuji and Megumi will become far stronger and Maki might have a completely different moveset due to a certain event that's gonna happen to her, but I'm not a fan of that. And that's pretty much it. This is a prediction video which could be taken as a wishlist for future DLCs or even inspiration for Bandai if they haven't thought about the skins that I have mentioned, but tell me, who do you wanna play in Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash? 
Previously I have explained how certain battle mechanics are going to work in JJK Curse Clash and let me tell you, this game could potentially become the best arena fighter of all time. If you wanna learn more, click the left card on the screen right now. Subscribe to the channel if you liked it and if you wanna see more JJK content. And um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope you all had a fantastic day, stay safe, and until next time boys. Peace!